Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over a few thumbnail tips with Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Have you ever posted a Doodly video only to find that the default thumbnail is a blank white screen? Or maybe it's a random scene from the middle of your video. Don't worry, we can solve this problem. You can easily create custom thumbnails for your Doodly videos, or you can select one of the scenes of your video to act as the thumbnail. So why would you want to do this? Well, making your own thumbnails helps grab the viewer's attention and encourages them to click on your video. So if somebody encounters a video and it's just a blank white piece of your whiteboard that doesn't have anything on it, that's not really very enticing. But if you have something, a message of some sort, or some great characters, or just some good graphics that, that tells them what it's about, then they're going to be more likely to go, yeah, okay, I do want to check that out. A quick update before we get into the tutorial. I already recorded the tutorial and then the next day I got a message from the developers that they made an update to Doodly that updates the thumbnail, ironically. And so I have now updated to version V to 9.8 and it's just a little subtle update with the thumbnail. So if I export my video, you'll notice this is my first scene. I'm just going to update it real quick and instead of just randomly picking a thumbnail for the video, at least on my computer, it's going to take this very first scene and it's going to take all of the images. It's not going to give me a blank white whiteboard for my thumbnail. It's going to give me this thumbnail tips and then that thumb right there as the thumbnail, at least on my computer. My belief is that, well here let's take a look at it. So you'll see it gives this little thumbnail here on my computer. That, is the scene I have on the screen. That said, all of the different services that I'm going to be talking about, you know, Facebook and YouTube and even Voomly, they're going to have their own thumbnail tools, but they're going to grab, you know, like the first, very first frame, which, okay, right here, this is my very first frame, the zero at zero, zero is white. So we can't really control what these third party software tools choose from within Doodly. We can control it from going into whichever tool it is, Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or whatever, and selecting the thumbnail that we'd like. So that said, be aware that there's a slight update within Doodly since I created this tutorial that will affect your thumbnail, at least on your computer. Okay, let's go right back to what we were talking about. Now, generally speaking, each host, so, you know, Facebook or YouTube or whichever you're using, automatically picks a thumbnail for you. And this might not be the best one for your video. For example, if they grab the first frame and you have just a blank white because you haven't started anything of your scene yet, then that's not going to be a great choice. Or if they pick one just randomly in the middle, you know, that might not be what you want viewers to see just yet. Instagram, for example, always uses the first frame and, you know, if you got that blank white, it's just boring. That said, each host usually allows you to select your own thumbnail from the video. So, for example, if you look at this little screenshot here, this is Facebook. And a video I uploaded a while ago, it had just that blank white whiteboard because I'm starting with a background that's going to fade on. So it's just white, the first frame, and that's boring. Well, look, you have some options here. You could choose a suggested one, you can upload your own image, or you can choose from the video. So let's go on into Facebook. So here I am actually live in Facebook, and let's just take a look at these options. Choose suggested. Well, here's that very first frame. I don't want that. So I can look and see what else they suggested. They suggested this, and there's that. And you know, it's a really short video, so I don't really have that many options. But, you know, I can choose any one of those. Or I could choose from the video itself, and I could pick, you know, maybe I didn't like where they suggested, but maybe I like this one here. Okay, so, 
anywhere I want. I could select any one of those and I could save it. Or I can upload my own image. And that's what I'm going to show you what you can do. So back into Doodly. I created this, a Christmas wish for you. And I want that to be my thumbnail for that particular Christmas message video that I had. So you'll notice it's just in a random video that I'm working on. And you know, this doesn't make sense necessarily, but I can just create it in any doodly project that I'm working on. And look what I can do. Right click, save as image. And I'm gonna save it as a JPEG, it's fine. And let's just make it 1080. And I'm gonna put it on my desktop click continue. If I go back into Facebook, I can upload the image. So click upload image and go to my desktop. Here's the video, scene three. There it is. And that's what I want my thumbnail to be. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And now here's my thumbnail. So now instead of seeing a blank white whiteboard they get this nice a christmas wish for you and boom they're like oh i want to see what is pam up to now what is her christmas wish for me and that's all you have to do and that's in facebook obviously different hosts will have different processes but they're all fairly similar similarly if you're using boomly which is part of the same family of doodly and boomly are part of the Voomly Cloud family. So if you have a Voomly Cloud subscription, you could upload your video to Voomly and set the thumbnail there. So let's go on in to Voomly and here's the video. I'm gonna go ahead and click the little three dots and customize my video player. And I'm gonna click thumbnail. Here's the thumbnail that Voomly is automatically picking. I could also, just like with Facebook, choose a different one. Maybe I want that to be my thumbnail. Or I could do a video loop and choose just a small section. So maybe I just want this little section to play over and over where this little gnome is coming in. Or custom image. Once again, I can browse and choose my custom image. And now my thumbnail is this, a Christmas wish for you. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And there you have it. With a few simple steps, you can create custom thumbnails for your doodly videos. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.